that you're here to do preschool again with me this week. Welcome. While we wait for all of the friends to join us, let's sing Everybody Clap with Nancy Kaufman. I have a video of Nancy playing the song on her guitar. Would you like to clap and sing with me? Here goes. This is Everybody Clap from The Seasons. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. And everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. And everybody go peek a boo. 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 And everybody go side to side. 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 And everybody go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three. Woo! Go one, two, three, woo! And clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Isn't it so much fun to sing together? I love when you come to preschool and sing with me. Now it's time for us to wake up Betsy Bird. She's been asleep all weekend. So if I say one, two, three, can you say, Betsy, are you in there? Ready? Here goes. One, two, three. Betsy, are you in there? I think she is in there. Hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here today for virtual preschool. Let's sing hello to our friends, okay, Betsy? And then you can sing hi to Betsy and me. Are you ready? Here goes. Hello, friends. How are you? Can you sing hello to Betsy? Okay. Hello, Betsy. How are you? And can you sing hello, Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie. How are you? We're so glad to see you. And tap your knees. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. We're all here together. Yay! Betsy, I noticed this morning when we woke up that there were some new sounds outside. Did you hear them? What did you hear? The birds were chirping. Yes! Are they your cousins? For sure. When we hear birds chirping outside, Betsy, I'm going to lay you down. And when the sun starts to get warmer and the flowers start to bloom, that's a sign that there's a new season. And the new season is called spring. Can you say spring? Yes. And when it's spring, lots of things that were dormant or sleeping all winter long, like the trees, and the flowers and the animals, they all start to come back to life. It's a sign that everything is going to be okay. I love spring. Two of my favorite spring animals are frogs and ducks. So today we're going to sing some songs about frogs and ducks. And I've been teaching you lots of sign language for the different things we've been learning about. Would you like to know what the sign for frog is? It goes under your chin, like where the frog has the little part where it goes ribbit, ribbit, and you take two fingers like this and go flick, flick. That's the sign for frog. 
Can you make the sign for frog? Frog. Good. In this song, I have five frogs. Let's count them together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And my five frogs are speckled. Do you see the dots all over the frog? That's called speckled. So these five green speckled frogs are sitting on a speckled log. Do you know this song? Let's sing it all together. Put up five fingers. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, let's count how many on the log. Ready? One, two, three, four. Good counting. Four green speckled frogs. Good. Let's put up four fingers and sing together. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, let's count them, one, two, three green speckled frogs. Can you put up a three and sing with me? Good job. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two, good counting, two green speckled frogs. Put up your two and let's sing it together. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Say yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one green speckled frog. Show me one. Good job, friends. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Do you remember the number for none? We talked about it last week. It's zero. Can you say that? Zero green speckled frogs sat on the speckled log eating no delicious bugs. Yum, yum. They jumped right out of the pool where it was nice and cool. Let's all count the speckled frogs. Can you help me count them and we'll jump them back up on the log. Ready? Let's ribbit, ribbit. One, good counting, here it comes. Two, three, four, five. Say ribbit, ribbit, like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, you're so good at singing. I'm proud of you. When you're done with the video today, maybe you could make your own set of green speckled frogs. I already have some. You could color yours. And all you have to do to make them is cut out some little frogs and you could either tape them to a stick like this, or if you have some pinchy clothespins, maybe your grown up will let you. And you can just put a little piece of tape on the back. I'll show you of your green speckled frog. I should draw some speckles on mine, shouldn't I? These do not have any polka dots. I need some speckles on my frog. So if you just put a little piece of tape on the back, and maybe you could even draw your own log, you could make your own set of green speckled frogs. Do you think you could color some frogs and tape them to a pin or put them on a stick? And you could sing the song at home. You could do it just like we did it together at school. Five green and speckled frogs, just like that. Do you think you could make your own set of green speckled frogs? I would love to see a picture of what you create. Well, here is another animal that you will see in the springtime. It will have lots of babies and it is an animal that's a bird that also likes to swim and it goes like this, quack, quack. Do you know which animal it is? Let's see. 
Ooh, here it comes. <gasps> what are these? These are my ducks. Yes. Let's count how many baby ducks I have. The babies are the yellow ones, and the mama duck is the white one. Let's see if we can count how many baby ducks I have. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Just like the frogs. Would you like to know the sign for duck? We learned frog. Frog is like this. And a duck, you have to make your fingers like the beak, and then you make it like he's chirp, quack, quack, quack. Or you could do your whole hand, quack, quack, quack. Either way is the sign for duck. Can you show me the sign for duck? And say quack, quack, quack. Good. In this song, the five little ducks do not want to listen to their mommy. They're swimming together in this pool, and then they decide to go over the hill, away from their mommy. Do you know this song too? It goes like this. Five little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away when the mommy duck said quack 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 only one two three four little ducks came back yeah this one is too far away he's over the hill can you sing it with me one two three four good four little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away when the mommy duck said quack 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 only three little ducks came back oh no the ducks are not being good listeners to their mommy two of them are far away and three ducks came back can you sing three little ducks with me here goes three little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away when the mommy duck said quack 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 only two little ducks came back oh no these two ducks are being good listeners to their mommy and these three went really far away here let's sing two little ducks will you sing it with me here goes Two little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away when the mommy duck said quack, quack, quack. Only one little duck came back. Quack, quack, quack. Oh no, the mommy says, where are the other four ducks? They're over the hill far away. Oh no. One little duck went out to play over the hill and far away when the mommy duck said quack 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 none of the little ducks came back oh no all five little ducks are far away over the hill let's sing it like this no little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away so when the mommy duck said quack 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 that's her stern voice quack 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 all of the little ducks came back let's hop over the hill oh boom one quack 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 two good counting quack 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 three four. Oh, that one laid down oh no little duck quack 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 five yes all of the ducks came back you're so good at counting the ducks i'm proud of you and i like the way you sing too thanks for playing that with me would you like to do a hide and seek game that's your favorite thing to do at preschool isn't it this hide and seek game is about a funny frog and do you see him right here this funny frog is hopping on the lily pads and they're all different colors Look at all of the colors of lily pads that we have. This one is orange, good. Here's a lily pad that is yellow. Do you see this color? Red, good. And this one, ooh, this is tricky. This one is tan, tan, it's light brown. You're so smart. Pink, good talking. And what color is this one? Brown, really good, you're so smart. What color is the flower on this lily pad? White, very good. And this one, black, good. I have four more. Do you think we can do all of them today? What color is this one? 
Gray. Good job. Ooh, this is my favorite color. Purple. Very good. And there are two more. Blue. Good job. You remember. And the last one is the same color as the lily pad. It's green. Well done, friends. So the poem goes like this. Ribbit hop, ribbit hop, funny frog, you have to stop hiding under lily pads. You're supposed to stay on top. The frog is not supposed to hide under the lily pads. The frog is supposed to hop on top of the lily pads. But this is a funny frog. Where do you think he's hiding? What color do you choose? You have to say it really loud so I can hear you all the way here in my school in Virginia. You think red? Did you say red? We can try red. Nope, not red. Try again. We can try brown. Nope, not brown. Where's the funny frog? Blue? Let's see if he's under blue. You guessed it. The funny frog was hiding under the blue lily pad. Oh boy, we caught him on the third try that time. Would you like to play again? Okay, let's put all the lily pads the right way and you say the poem with me. Ready? Ribbit hop, ribbit hop, funny frog, you have to stop hiding under lily pads. You're supposed to stay on top. Where did the frog go? What color do you choose? Tell me really loud. You like pink? Okay, we can try pink. Nope, he wasn't under pink. Where's the funny frog? Did you say tan? That's a good guess. We don't often have a tan one. Nope, not under tan. Where can he be? Say it really loud. Purple, that's my favorite one. Let's see, are you there, frog? No, hmm, he's really hiding this time. Where's the frog? Can you name a color? Yellow? Okay, I heard you. Let's try yellow. No? Oh, he's really hidden. Tell me another one. Blue? Let's see. That's where he was last time, right? Not this time. He must be someplace different. What color do you choose? Red? We can try red. Here goes. You did it! You found the frog. He was under the red lily pad. Give your brain a kiss. Mwah. Brain, you're so smart naming all of those colors. Boys and girls, one of my favorite things to do with you every day is to read a funny book about a frog or a duck. And the book that I have today is one of my very, very favorites. It's so silly. It's called Ducks Away by Mem Fox. She's the author. And Judy Horachik. Those are the two, there's two authors, two ladies who wrote the book and colored the pictures. In this story, there's a mama duck and five ducks. See if this story reminds you of anything. When a good reader is reading a book, their brain is always thinking. They're saying, hmm, this story reminds me of something else I know. Maybe it will remind you of one of the songs that we sang together today. See if it reminds you of anything while we read. Ducks Away by Mem Fox. Look at this silly cute little duck. He's falling. Oh no, let's see what happens. One fine day, a mother duck waddled onto a bridge. A fluffy yellow duckling followed right behind her. Actually, it was two yellow ducklings. No, it was three little ducks. Wait, it was four little ducks. What? It was actually five little ducks, except just then, look at this, the duck is flying in the air. A sudden gust of wind swept the last little duck right into the river below. Look at his cute little orange feet are sticking up like he did a dive into the river. Now there's one in the river and how many are up on the bridge? Do you know? 
Oh, no, quacked Mother Duck. What should I do? Where should I go with four on the bridge and one below? What is she going to do? What should a mama duck do? One of her other little ducks decided to take a look, and he toppled into the river below. Splash! Do you see his cute little feet sticking up there? Oh, no, quacked Mother Duck. What should I do? Where should I go? With three on the bridge and two below. Then another little duck peered over the edge and she toppled into the river below. Oh, no, quacked Mother Duck. What should I do? Where should I go? With two on the bridge and three below. Is this reminding you of the other song that we sang? I hope your brain is making the connection. Then another little duck peeked over the edge and she toppled into the river below. Look at her cute little feet. Splash. Oh no, quacked mother duck. What should I do? Where should I go? With one on the bridge and four below. Then the last little duck foolishly lost his footing. Do you see him peering over the edge, too close to the edge? And he tumbled into the river as well. Splash! Mother duck looked down. The five little ducks looked up. Right, said mother duck. I know what to do. I know where to go. I'll have to fly down to the river below. Do you think the mother duck can fly all the way down there? She stepped slightly forward and she stepped slightly back. The five little ducks said, quack, quack, quack. Can you do like a duck? Quack, quack, quack. Good. Then the first little duck said, mom, go with the flow. Can you count? Five, four, three, two, one, go. And mother duck flew to the river below. Quack, said the five little ducks. Look at her big splash there. You're back! Yay! How cute is that? When you were reading this book, was your brain thinking, hey, that reminds me of the other little ducks who went over the hill. Some were with the mommy and some were far away. Did your brain make that connection? It's because you're so smart. I'm so proud of you. Well, it is just about time for us to sing our goodbye song and for you to throw some birdseed to Betsy. Do you love that part of preschool? Me too. Okay, let's call her out. Say, Betsy, come out. <gasps> Hello, boys and girls. I love those songs about the ducks and the frogs. Did you like them too? Mm -hmm. All week, we're gonna be talking about different things that we can see in the spring, like flowers and eggs and birds and bunnies. It's gonna be a wonderful week. Betsy can't wait to sing and dance and do games with you, right, Betsy? Mm -hmm. But now it's time for us to sing goodbye. So we'll sing goodbye and then you can throw her some bird seed. Here goes. Preschool time is over now. Over now, over now, preschool time is over now for another day. Good. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Okay, reach into your pocket. I have to tell your moms and dads and the grown-ups something. Grown-ups, make sure that you print your play pack. It's included for free every day. There um, is a page with six play ideas for ways to extend the learning that we did today at home in a playful way. And also four pages of quiet time activities. So if you have older kids, four, five, six years old, you can print these pages. There's a page for them to practice writing their name. So you're going to download this PDF, open it with Adobe, type your kid's name, it will appear here with dots and they can practice writing it right next to the cute little frog. We can practice some of our fine motor skills with tracing these lines 
there is a page where they can draw the animals the frog and the duck just like we learned about this morning and another page where they can practice writing some numbers. So this is all included free. There's a link up in the video description where you can go to print it. In addition, if you'd like to print any of the little songs that we sang, the five green and speckled frogs or the five little ducks on my website, there's also a link for chip clip poems. And that's what these are, the chip clips or the clip poems. So if you search chip clip poems, you can print the poem for your little ones. Ah, boys and girls, you were so patient while I talked to the grown-ups. Thank you. Do you have some bird seed for me? Do you? Do you? Okay, reach it out of your pocket. Betsy's going to count to three and she's going to open her mouth really wide so you can catch the bird seed. Are you ready? One, two, three. Throw it to her. Yum, yum, mmm, mmm. She loves all that bird seed. Thanks, boys and girls. Can I blow you a kiss? Okay, get ready to catch it. Here goes. Catch it, stick it to your cheek, put some glue so it sticks all day, and give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye, friends.